Now, Entertainment Tonight. We love entertaining people. Nancy O'Dell has the night off, but no rest for the NFL. Deflated footballs and leaked commercials are making headlines. But we start with the Super Bowl of Beauty. The Miss Universe pageant, which is dealing with its own scandal after Miss Israel allegedly photobombed Miss Lebanon. And in true Trump style, an international incident was born. Michelle Turner is at the pageant for tonight's top story, the Miss Universe Madness. There's always some sort of storyline that comes out of these, and it seems like you got caught right in the middle of the storyline this year with you and Miss Lebanon. A selfie that's been stirring up attention around the world. Battle Night Lebanon, so Miss Universe pageant. The post has turned into something of an international incident. When you heard about the controversy, what did you think? Well, you know, I just, it's just a picture mm -hmm. and just a regular selfie. I didn't know it would be with all this mm -hmm. uh, media attention and just crazy. Because you know your countries haven't technically been at war since 2006, yeah, but, but it, there is it's tension. Okay for it, for it's okay for the Israeli people, it's okay, they're okay with this picture. Miss Lebanon has been trying to avoid talking to reporters about the controversy here, but on Facebook, she said she had been avoiding Miss Israel and was taking a photo with Miss Japan and Miss Slovenia when Miss Israel jumped in and snapped a selfie. All of this anger has come out. Pageant owner Donald Trump says he was saddened by the backlash over the photo in Lebanon. To have this happen, there is no place for it. This is not the kind of thing that I would like to see build up ratings. And oh yeah, don't expect a lot of talk about Middle East politics when the pageant airs Sunday night on NBC. So this is really like the last minute preparation station, hair and makeup. Michelle got a good look behind the scenes. Talk about the need for product. Listen to this. There are 88 girls competing, and for every girl, they need five cans of hairspray. Yes, five. So that's 450 cans of hairspray that they ship in. And let me tell you, I can smell it. They use it. And you got to love this. Are you going to give a little carnival? Oh, yeah, I love it. It's the over-the-top national costume competition. Some standouts, Great Britain, Korea, Sri Lanka, and oh, Canada. I am the game of hockey. I am also a, a hockey player. The boots are pretty cool. They're custom made plates. Oh, those are, those are pretty sweet. Yeah, they're <laughs> awesome. And I got the Stanley Cup in my head. Miss USA stuck to the red, white, and blue theme. Do you have nerves? I mean, if I overthink it, because it, it goes from 88 to 15. So if I overthink it, I get nervous. I try not to think about it and just have fun and be myself and have a good time. I am joined by two former Miss Universe contestants who didn't overthink it, Susie Castillo and <laughs> Shady right. Fantasy. And I want to ask you, look, you see all the contestants and they give you the, we are the world, we love each other feel, but what's the real deal? It's got to be cutthroat behind the scenes. You know, I actually don't think so much so because from my experience when I competed at Miss Universe and it was in 2004, the U.S. had just invaded Iraq, so there's so much animosity going on. But I was really impressed by how 81 girls from all over the world came together and there was so much camaraderie and friendship. Even when during the parades I'm going through and people are holding up signs, U.S. out of Iraq and screaming. Wow. Um, but yet you had all of this friendship and Israel and Lebanon were friendly with each other. Yeah. Wow. That's... Those are two countries that compete every year. Right. You know, right. so it's really interesting that this is happening. Miss Lebanon has avoided the press and she really doesn't want to speak. But isn't that part of your duties and does that hurt her chances to win or even move on to the, you know, the top 10 girls that are picked? I think it's kind of like, you know, Donald Trump always says, all press is good press. And I think she should just hop on that, that wagon. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. What would you tell her if you wanted to tell her one thing? What would you tell her? You know, behind camera, behind when people aren't looking, be friendly, um, you know, and see what commonalities you have with each other, yeah. um, that you're not all that different. Yeah. And then to bring what you learn from that back into your country. 100%. I mean, it's an opportunity for both these girls to kind of rise to the occasion, right? When maybe the politicians in their own countries aren't doing that. But, but then they on would camera, don't jump take on. pictures. All right. Yeah, yeah I, I know. Like, friends with her. That's the sad part. You never know what's going on in terms of like death threats and things like that. These girls have to go back to their countries, so it's a really serious matter. You know, it's something that they need to think about. Ladies, thanks for being here. By the way, um, <laughs> tomorrow, Michelle will sit down with the woman from the country that has dominated this pageant as of late with seven titles overall, Miss Venezuela. Meanwhile, onto that little game we call the Super Bowl.